So today I'm going to be putting together the Behemoth drivetrain uh, doubler, strong box doubler. There's their car. I received this and I am replacing a Bog Warner 1356 doubler that I custom built myself, which was freaking right about that long. It was 18, 19 inches long. It was real big. This will solve a lot of my drive lines issues with it, the length. So, what they ship you with is you get a new output shaft. It looks real nice. You also get the shift mechanism, just here, and the fork. Then you get the case which holds the planetary, the outer planetary gear slides into there. And then you get this, you get pretty much unlimited <laughs> angle changing ability with this, and it can fit the Delta 205, which is really important. You have to pull from yours is the main bearing, snap ring, outer snap ring to hold the planetaries, then the outer planetary gear, the inner splines, the shift fork or shift housing, and of course your planetary gears. So, to start this off, I'm going to put the bearing in first. You slide the bearing in. You can use a seal driver I'm using a 76 millimeter. Get it set. Move this over here to a firmer location. So you hit that until it's all the way in. See, it's all the way in. And you can put the snap ring in. So hopefully I got it in far enough. Insert the snap ring. And I want to not get the snap ring over this. Well, it doesn't really matter. So that's the bearing installed. Now, you're going to want to put the outer ring in. This, I was told, is another really tight fit. I'm just going to run some uh, motor assembly lube on it just to help slide it in, hopefully. Lubrication does amazing things. Gonna line these forks up, these right here, with the tabs in here. See how it's got each little castle kind of looking piers? You want to make sure you line those up that way. And line them up above, not like I just did. That way it prevents it from spinning inside the case, otherwise. mallet. Just some dental taps seems to work. Looks like I have a little more room to go. So. Oh wait, no, never mind. It'll have a little extra room up here, but it's seated down underneath. 
See, right here is where it's seated. So I can't go in any further. Next, you're going to grab your planetaries. I'm going to slide these in. And you can use the other the adapter to give you enough lift to let it slide in. There you go. It's in. Now comes the fun part. Flip it over. And if you've taken this apart yourself, you know to curse this snap ring because they don't have any freaking pins in it to make it easy to come out. So it takes like freaking ever, forever to get this thing apart. So let me move it closer. Oh. One thing I just noticed is when you flip it, when you flip it, this outer ring can come out. Set this here. Put that there to hold the snap ring in. Or the outer planetary. Now comes the pain in the ass snap ring. Hopefully, goes on a lot easier than the nightmare came off. All right, got the snap ring in. You probably can't see it. So now. The planetaries don't fall out. <laughs> I can flip it back over. And we get that for a So now, I'm going to want to clean this area up. A good brake cleaner. Because you're going to have to put some silicone around this to make sure it seals up. You don't want to grab your, your input shaft or your output shaft. You're going to take some silicone. I'm going to clean off this area with the bearing rides. Make sure that's, make sure that's nice and clean. Run a bit of silicone. Over where it meets the bearing. That way, provides a seal. And I was talking to the owner of Behemoth, of Behemoth uh, Drive. He says you're going to actually maybe put a O-ring seal, but he says he hasn't had any issues just doing the silicone. So, we'll run that. And see there, but. Now here's an important part. See the four dots? Make sure they're all facing. Because these, the they're off centered, so you could put them in the other way. But with the 1356, they go facing down. So what you can do is take your gear selector, slide it into the channels, line it up with the hole, much like so. Take your output shaft, slide it in, lift up, and you got that. You're going to have to tap the, when you put the silicone on, you're going to have to tap the input shaft, or the output shaft in until it's almost flush. Just use 
you know, rubber mallet. I went to go put it on and it wasn't sitting down properly. Now you're going to want to clean the other side. Run a bead of silicone around this. And look at there. It seals up. So now you're gonna have to figure out. This is the drain, this is the fill. Right here is the fill, it's the big square. Uh, and then the drain is the small hole. You also got a breather on top. It's just an empty hole right now. They, got, they give you an elbow. So I might actually have to back it out of here, pull it apart again, just so I can line up the bolts, but we'll see. Grab your Allens. There's a bunch of holes here, but they're the ones without the threads. So let me back it up. One thing about being so smooth and round is that it's not easy to pull apart. And I want my shifter on the driver's side, so you got the transmission will bolt up here. You got the six holes. It'll go this way. And I'm assuming. Let's see. So here's the 1356 case. And you can look at how the holes would be. So they're pretty much level on top. So go from there. You figure out so it's gonna be level on top. So where I have my shifter is not correct either. And don't let it sink down all the way first. Put the bolt through. Line up the holes. There's 10 bolts, or Allen's, all provided for you. You should probably make sure everything, all 10, thread up first. So, get all 10 started before you crank it down. Makes life easier. So crank them down, give them a little twist. And I'll just do a good old star pattern. Don't know if it needs that. Probably shouldn't need that, but it doesn't hurt. And there you have it. So, after you get it all together, you can test it. So, grab, you can grab your old uh, shaft from your output shaft. It's got the same splines for your input shaft. It's all 31 spline. And you can spin it easily this way. So, if you look, this, they're spinning at the same, same time. So, now, it's taking almost three to one. 
2.7 or 6.9 to 1. So gear reduction and neutral. So it works. You also can put this on, but what I'm going to do is wait. It goes the other way. All the holes, all the adjustments, and go into this side. But there is one important thing I am forgetting, and that is the seal, <laughs> Ugh, which they do provide for you. So, I need to put the seal on here. And it goes just like that. So. If you look, this is the old seal. I pulled the seal off the front. It lines up pretty damn good. And there you go. Seal. Nice seal installer tool. <laughs> just, tight. just need to put this on. And when you do, silicone everything up. Put a little bead of silicone around this. Put a little bead of silicone around this when it connects to your transmission or transfer case. You can get a seal. You can get the gaskets for these ones, but or put silicone around this. You can get gaskets for these, but silicone works just as well. Don't waste your money. And that should do it. You got a doubler now. And then when you go to install it, make sure to put your breather up top. And give you your breather, put a tube on it. Put some uh, thread lock, you can get the tape. I usually use the, the the liquid stuff, works a lot better. And you just thread that in. This is your fill, fill it up. Make sure you fill it up before you take it out, otherwise you're SOL. <laughs> and have a good day.